Hello and welcome back to IDK LOL, my ECS-based RPG, which I'm developing in Go.4. So I added an indicator at the top middle to tell you what you're looking at. And it changes when the line of sight picks up a new entity ID. I also added dialogue and used text-to-speech to make the NPCs talk. Oh my, I drank too much. Still saving the world, eh? Looks like you could use a drink. And as you can see at the bottom, it does prompt you when you can interact. Looks like you could use a drink. And I also made sure that the pickup item was still working. So I added a couple of health potions to the pub. And you set the dialogue and voice ID through the components, so each NPC can have a different voice and dialogue. What are you buying? What are you selling? What are you buying? What are you... So I have been looking into some open source AI text-to-speech projects, and I would like to integrate one of those eventually, but for now, I just decided to use the built-in text-to-speech functionality from Godot. So this is used for uh, screen readers, mostly for accessibility, which is why it's not the most fluent speech, but it does work. So I'll go ahead and copy the first three lines, which gets the first English voice sets the voice ID, and then tells it to say hello world using the display server class. So I made a new project in Godot just to demonstrate. I'll make a blank node and save it, then attach the script, and in ready we'll Choose the first English voice and say hello world. So if we play the scene, it will throw an error because the get voices for English returns an empty array. So first, you'll need to go to the project settings and enable advanced settings. Then under audio general, Enable text-to-speech and save and restart the project. Now, if you're using Windows or a Mac, this should work, but on Linux, it'll still throw the error because you need to download the speech dispatcher dis dependency. So if you're using Arch Linux, you'll use the Pac-Man and on Debian, it is apt-get, so I'll open up the terminal, and you can call speech dispatcher to see if it's installed, which it's not. So I'll call sudo apt install speech dispatcher festival easy speak up on Debian. And you'll have to look up the package manager for your distro if it's something else. So go ahead and install that. And you can call speech dispatcher now to see that it's installed and running. And you can use the spd-say and specify a voice. So this is female2 hello world. saying hello world. And that does work from the terminal, so it's all properly installed. So now if I go back to the project and run it. Hello world. It does play the speech, so you may have to restart your 
go dot if that doesn't work. So now I can specify an index in the voices array to change the preset. Hello, world. So the list is quite large. Hello, world. And instead of going through all 500 of them, you can print out the voices list. Hello, world. So now we have string names instead of using the ma magic numbers, which is much better. And now you can copy any of the elements in the list. And instead of setting the voice ID to voices at an index, you can set it to the actual string, which makes it more readable and more maintainable in my opinion. Hello, world. So, I'll be using the string index to set the voices. Hello, world. So, back in the main IDK little project, I added the dialogue options and voice ID to the NPC configuration in the spawn list class. So the barkeep has the comments and is using the Great Britain male voice one. So I've added four or five of these so far. Then in the main class, whenever you interact with the target, if the interact type is talk, I add a conversation engaged component to the NPC. And that triggers the dialogue system. So it gets the a random message from the entity dialogue and then calls the display server text to speech. I do call the TTS stop function here so that when you talk to them, it cuts off the previous line since the text to speech can only do one item at a time. And then I append the string name in quotes to log the message in the side menu and then remove the conversation engaged component when it's done. And eventually, I can expand this to add responses and give quests. So this is just the initial starting point. And I did change the interaction looking at a bit. So now, each frame, it checks if the target ID has changed using the force raycast, and if it does change, then it returns true, and it knows to update the text and the interaction type. So I have no interaction, pick up item, and talk types. So I'll add open doors and chests and use workbench to the enumerator. And I'm also, I think I'll put negative karma interactions on a separate key like X so you don't accidentally steal the health potion from the vendor instead of talking to them. So like lock picking and pickpocketing and stealing items will probably be on a separate hotkey. So that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you for watching and have a great day.